right, Madalena, you've got a beautiful palette in your hand. What are you mm -hmm. going to do to Genevieve? I'm just going to do a really quick um, eye makeup and just maybe groom our eyebrows a bit more. And just to demonstrate the difference that the lashes make and a bit of a liquid liner. Okay. So I'm first just starting with um, just like a soft shimmery colour that we're just going to place onto the ball of the eye. color which is kind of like a it's like a maroon color which I think a lot of women are scared of using but it's the one color that you can place on any eye um, and it'll make your eyes pop so it's really a great color to go for. Sure that's made such a difference already. But if you if you open your eye it brings out even in, in brown eyes it brings out the greens and the colors in the eyes so it's really a great color. And most palettes have them. Because it's such an awesome colour, you know, nobody uses it. Yeah. Um, can you look up quickly? And I'm just using that same colour. So she's already got a bit of a dark eyeliner there, but I'm just going to use that just to tie it in with the bottom, just on these outer corners. Then for the liquid line, I love using a gel liner and an angle brush. I find that it's a lot easier to control, um, where your liquid liners sometimes have quite a big, long um, like wand on the end mm. of it, or the tip, and it can make it very difficult. Where with this, we can start doing a small, thin little line, and then from there we can start building it up. And that's what we were talking about earlier from where to place the darkest colours. Um, most people look amazing with just a little liquid liner. And then just to enhance it a bit more, I'm just going to add a little touch of black on these outer corners. Open, just close again. Now, how important are the brushes that you're using? Oh, they're very important. You can see that with this brush that I'm using now, it's, um, I can just place the colour there and give it like five or seven blends and it's smooth. Um, and that's because of the brushes, because of the way that the, the bristles are. Okay, now I'm just going to stick on some lashes. You can just look down. Now, what is the best way to choose the type of lash you want? Because you can go quite dramatic to quite subtle. Sure. I would recommend for going something more natural. And your more natural lashes, you will notice that they, they're not very long. Like these ones you can see, they're not very long. Um, and their hairs are very, very dense. They, mm. you know, they, they're not like big gaps in between. Yeah. Can look down. So something natural. The, the thing with lashes is though, if you do buy ones that are too long, they can always be trimmed. They can always be cut oh, right, down. Of course. Yeah, you can always trim them. Can I open? They feel okay. I love that we're seeing sort of bushier, not not so Fuller. thin eyebrows yeah. anymore. Yes. yes. Now Genevieve does have a natural thin eyebrow, so we're not going to overdo it too much. But I just want to show you what difference it makes to just add a little bit of extra grooming to it and just fill it in a touch. Would you always suggest using um, a dark brown on darker eyebrows? You always want to try and match your hair colour or one shade lighter. Okay. One shade lighter has actually been quite a trend at the moment. And just another quick tip. If you have made your eyebrows too dark, just use a, cre a clean up. Just another quick tip, if you have um, darkened your eyebrows a bit too much, just use a clean mascara brush, and you can literally just brush through, and you just brush all that excess product off. Not that hers is too dark, but that's just a quick tip. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the glue still I trust not, is still not 100% dry, but um, we'll get there. We'll see it when, once we're done. We can see, I'm gonna add a bit of gloss. 
the touch to the center. Cool. Well, you look absolutely lovely. So now I'm ready for a wedding. <laughs> I wish we could have one right now. Wouldn't that be fab? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that we know how to choose exactly. our hair and do our makeup. Marley, thank you so much for joining us today. You're most welcome. One more time, where can we find you online? On marleymakeup.com. My, my YouTube channel's there, um, Instagram, everything's on marleymakeup.com.